Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this information. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. St. Vitus Cathedral in Prague. Construction of this immaculate structure was said to begin in 1344. There is no way that anyone could build such a highly sophisticated structure like this could be built using merely primitive hand tools. The story of our past is much different than what we are told. Mystery of the Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript has been commonly referred to as the world's most mysterious manuscript ever. It was discovered in 1912, in northern Italy. The language, scribe, and author of Voynich Manuscript are still unknown. Many believe the 240-page manuscript is missing much of its original contents. Perhaps the most interesting part of the Voynich manuscript is the drawings of various herbal plants. Until now, no one can match these drawings to any known plant species. It is believed the Voynich manuscript was written in 15th century. In addition to the herbal section, this mysterious manuscript also contains astronomical, biological, cosmological, and pharmaceutical section. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something, and don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update, and, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Few pics of the mud flood, we were told it never happened. From these pictures, show a different story. What do you think? The Battle of Antarctica, also known as Operation High Jump, during which USA task forces went to Antarctica to destroy the remaining bases of the Fourth Reich and capture a new unique armament, flying saucers. However, on March 3, 1947, the squadron was attacked by the enemy and forced to flee. The expedition failed, and the fleet of ships were badly damaged. In the German archives, researchers found drawings of the Flying Saucers series with innovative electromagnetic gravity engines. In 1935, the Thule Society was looking for a location to test a new powerful armament. Some nations today may look like they are enemies, but they're all part of the same gang. Sure, agreements get broken, and countries get invaded. Some agreements and treaties never break, like the North Pole and Antarctica Treaty. These nations do however agree on one thing. Keep the masses controlled and locked in the system. What do you think? Wilhelm Reich the Rainmaker, and much more. Kate Bush was so touched after learning about his story she wrote a song about him after reading his son's autobiography. The Cloudbuster is a device designed by Austrian psychoanalyst Wilhelm Reich, 1897-1957, which Reich claimed could produce rain by manipulating what he called organ energy present in the atmosphere. The Cloudbuster was intended to be used in a way similar to a lightning rod focusing it on a location in the sky, and grounding it in some material that was presumed to absorb organ, such as a body of water, would draw the organ energy out of the atmosphere, causing the formation of clouds and rain. 
Wright conducted dozens of experiments with the Cloudbuster, calling the research cosmic organ engineering. The importance of acoustic resonance. They destroyed most of the bells as they were creating an important vibration along with the frequency and symmetry of the structure. Solange Olmos, the overall range of resonant frequencies of the human body was found to be between 62 and 68 Hz. The electrical conduction allows the movement of electrically charged particles within the body, and that flow produces our life force. Life itself, as we know it, is inextricably intertwined with geometric shapes, from the angles of atomic bonds in amino acid molecules, to the helical spirals of DNA. They clearly knew how important sound and frequency was to humans. Over time we got even more disconnected from our energy force, causing us to live in a low frequency and vibrational field. This makes us more susceptible to illness, and also means we need constant sustenance from food. What do you think? This is Elon Musk's mother. She's a bit too flashy with that triple six sign, showing her allegiance. Mother like son, they are all in it together, pulling the collective leg of humanity. The Tales on Ancient Water Tanks Pools Old water tanks, pools, either electric power system, healing waters, fountain of youth. Some of these water tanks appear to be part of a power system with drainage systems that power them, could have been salt water tanks. They have flat walls not comfortable for people, some very deep and not swimming friendly. Most in distant places, with surrounding ancient cities, disappeared without trace of other structures or people around for miles, but these are still working to this day. Some have platforms in the pool where a device has been kept, most have a structure near where either energy could have been stored distributed and collected. Alpalines North of Nazca's famous lines are the least known, but just as intriguing Palpa's lines. Made by Paracas culture, possibly 1,000 years before Nazca lines. There are approximately 1,600 lines and geoglyphs scattered across Palpa district. These figures are easily seen from the ground as they are carved on the face of the hill. First picture taken by Kerry Ritter four days ago in Oklahoma, USA, and the next are people reporting the same thing in Norway, saying it was some sort of missile launch, while others claim it's SpaceX. What do you think this was? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us, see you in the next video.